Well, hello. I've seen this test one place on YouTube, and I want to do my own one to put on uh, Parlor and a couple other places that don't censor the truth. And I'm an electrician by trade. We use these snippers, is what we call them. Going through a test right now. I have to plug it up to make sure. Okay. So that test, that passed that test. So we have to use these every time we get in a confined space or a manhole. And this does, uh, it tests for oxygen levels, which OSHA 1910.134 will tell you that you have to have a minimum of 19.5% oxygen to be safe in the environment that you're working. This thing's going to take quite a while to go through all its checkouts, so disregard the beeping. So I had a discussion with my safety director the other day, and uh, I was telling him about this, and I said, if I stayed in a manhole more than 30 seconds with this alarm going off, I'd get fired, wouldn't I? He said, well, yeah, you did it on purpose and you knew about it. I said, so how is it the same company that would fire me for staying in a confined space in hazardous conditions forces me, because the government tells them to, to do this for eight hours a day and wear, yes, you're right, mask. So we're going to do this test. We're going to show the meter. Doesn't lie. Right now, here is the base conditions. It's just floating in the air on the front porch. It's all sampling through there. We take this tube and we drop it eight feet down inside of a manhole. And even in the bottom of a manhole yesterday, it read 20.8, which it does right now also. So... We're going to do the same test, only I'm going to use three different kinds of masks and just see what happens, for my own knowledge. And uh, let's get started. So for a base, I'm going to put it right here, right below my mouth. And we're going to wait, let's say 10 or 15 seconds, and see if anything changes. Nope, nothing's changing. Doesn't matter where I put it, top of my mouth, below my mouth, side of my mouth. Doesn't matter where I put it, it stays 20.8. Doesn't matter. So let's see what happens next. We're going to start with the old faithful that most people feel the safest with. And this is the Chinese surgical mask garbage. Now we're going to make sure that if we wear a mask, we wear it properly. So, the way Now I'm going to put this inside. Let's see what happens. That didn't take long, did it? Less than 5 seconds. We're down to 18 17 to Now, let's keep in mind, I got a big old bushy beard, which affords me a little bit more airflow. If you were clean shaven or you're uh, a lady, then this thing's going to seal even tighter and you're going to have less oxygen. 17.7. 17.7. Seventeen seven. So that is right around 2% less oxygen than OSHA requires for a safe workplace. And 16-7. Seven, seven. If I was to work in that condition more than 30 seconds without evacuating, I'd get fired. I don't know if I told you all before, this was calibrated on June 29th of 2020 which today is June the 18th, or July the 18th. So this has been calibrated within just three weeks. So I trust this thing, even if it was calibrated six months or a year ago, 
I trust it. it it's good. There's a little filter back here. It's clean. The hose is clean. We use this. As our safety director says, it's protecting our lives. So I trust it. So we're going to do another test. Uh, we did the surgical mask. This one here is the homemade cloth mask, Crown Royal style. Hoo-ah, but uh, let's just see how this one does. It's all cloth. Put this on. The reason I can't wear this thing is because look what it does to my ears. How many times <laughs> have you wore a mask? Because there's a pattern online that everybody uses, and some of the elastic doesn't stretch like the others. But hey, you know. Huh. So let's stuff this up in the same spot the other one was. Okay. Wow. That was like only two or three seconds. Let's see what this one says. I can feel the heat coming out. Fog in my glasses. It's got hazardous gases too. Hazardous gases too. Wonder what the, it's probably carbon monoxide. We're down to 16.8. Let's see how far it goes. Right now we're 15, 20 seconds after I put the mask on. Imagine working eight hours with this. Going to the bathroom, gasping for air, and putting it back on so your boss doesn't fire you. What's it say now? There's a glare on the screen. 17.6. It's, it's bouncing. 15.9. 15.9. Now, I was told by a OSHA-educated safety director, I won't say who, that if it got below 16, I'd be on the floor half passed out, unable to move. How many of us wear this stupid crap all day long? And we're not passed out on the floor, but OSHA tells us it's not safe because it ain't. There's people who are coming down with pleurisy, young, healthy people. It's just ridiculous. We're down 17.5. 16.8. It bounces. We have uh, carbon monoxide, the whole nine yards. So that concludes this mask test. We're going to move on to another. So 20.8, our baseline. We've already established all this. Now this time, we're going to use the chintziest, most piece of garbage mask you could ever imagine. And yes, you can look at that. This was designed by the Dayton VA Hospital, and that's why I wrote it on there. Um, they put out a flyer, a PDF, got emailed to everybody who works out there to take a t-shirt, chop it in a design like this, and put it on your face. Now look at this. Pretty loose. Keep in mind, like I said earlier, I've got a big old beard. Most people have a nice tight seal and they want it even tighter and on and on and on. But I got the beard. I've got it extra loose because I like to breathe. So we're going to do the same test. Once again, we're going to put it in the same place. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Less than five seconds, 17.5. OSHA requirement, 17.4. OSHA requirement is 19.5 as a minimum. It's probably going to bounce higher and lower. We're sitting on the front porch out in the country with the wind blowing. So we got more airflow than we do on the job. We're in a closed up building. You're in an office. No matter where you are, You've got less airflow than the front porch with about 20 mile an hour winds in the country. So even this piece of crap, this piece of crap t-shirt that I can actually feel like I almost breathe in, throws that 17.3, throws it into alarm. I would be fired.